So we're continuing our mathematical study of the word leader and where God has ordained it to be in all of his titles and words in history. Um, so leader is at the center of Jesus and now we're doing more diligence on where else God has placed it. Um, so let's find. We know that English equals Jesus equals God's son. Jesus created English and is sovereign over it. Um, so now we're going to find leader in English because um, English is the leading language of the world. It is the world leader in terms of influence. And there it is. NLS in a tri for There's three ways to find 45 leader in English. Cool. Three of them gods. Interestingly, um, so cool. Like the word leader um, contains God. You know, in the beginning, Genesis 1 should read, in the beginning, gods, Elohim, the three of them, the three gods, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, created the heavens and the earth. And I marvel that the word gods, G-O-D-S, as in referring to the three members of the Trinity, the Lord of God, the Lord is one, but you technically can refer to them as three um, gods, three persons, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. That the word gods equals leader. The three gods, God the Father, Jesus Christ, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, together are you know, the lead. That's just an interesting thought. Um, but let's keep going, finding leader. Um, so, where else here? Titles of God that you would find uh, leader in. Creator. Yep, 45 is in there. Founder, maker. All of these I'm sure will be, yeah, I'm seeing leader in all of them. Founder has it. Um, cool, okay, that's pretty good. How about we, now it's getting to human terms, like president. Let's find leader in president. Ooh, that's gorgeous. It's the P-I-T. We Remember I preached on the word pit and the word tip before? The pit is at the center. It's also the first part of the fruit. The tip is at the top. It's also at the center of an item, the tip. Well, that is the perfectly symmetrical way that you find 45 leader in the word president. Take the P, the I, and the T, the, the I at dead center and the PT, the bookends, there's the word pit in order. The president is the center. The president is at the center of everyone, effectively, of all the leaders in an, in an organization, country, in a group of people. Okay? So that is huge, that that word pit, the pit is the center of a fruit. Okay? The tip is the top and the center of any item, like a pen. And so that word pit equals 45 equals leader in president. And it's a plus one, a two, and a three, just like the word leader is plus one, two, three, inside out. It's just glaring how leader, the title of God, leader, is placed perfectly in the word president. And yes, Jesus is mathematically at the dead center of the word president as well. Like the word president is loaded. There's one at the front, one at the back. Like the president is one. Like there's one president. Um, God's title one begins the word president and prime minister. P-R, one. Okay. But now we are finding mathematically the title leader in president. It was very satisfying. Pit. There's several ways to do it, but I would choose the symmetrical P-I-T. Um, and just checking to see... Um, can you build those letters from the letters in leader? LD equals P. Uh, I don't know fully, but that's fine. Let's move on. How about prime minister? Our first minister. Yeah, beauty. The word mini equals leader. A minister. A leader. This is hilarious. From the from the mire, God pulled a leader. 
I, I love the extreme story of God. And truth be told, just about every great story of leadership in the Bible begins the same way. Someone was pulled from the mire, like Joseph was pulled from the mire. David was pulled from the sheep fields, the mire. But I'm just marveling at this because the word mire equals leader. And most true leaders will be led through the mire before they um, end up in their glory leadership position. Because there's so much character that gets developed in the mire. Um, mire equals leader. It just, and you can do it letter for letter, like the LA equals the M and the I equals the ED. So with that math staring you in the face, like as glaring as glary can be, that Meyer equals leader, think about how many great leaders in history God has ordained to go through the mire. Like to go through the, the, the most brutal, ugly, like when we say the mire, it's like the lowest of the low the muckiest and ugliest of the ugly, like unpleasant, nasty, uncomfortable, like just about every great leader in history has gone through the mire. Jesus Christ, of course, God incarnate, is the greatest example. Like there's no mire worse than a crucifixion after all the scourging and all that. Um, what is the running definition of mire? A stretch of swampy or boggy ground. And secondly, a situation or state of difficulty, dis distress, or embarrassment from which it is hard to extricate oneself. A mess, a difficulty, a predicament, a tight spot, trouble, quandary, muddle. Interesting. But physically speaking, a mire is muddy ground. It's a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place that you have to trod through. And uh, from a physical standpoint, many of the explorers, many great leaders, were the ones that, that, that trod through the mire first. They said, we're going through there, guys. Over my body, we are going to get through that swamp. We are going to take the horses through the mire in order to get to the promised land. It's amazing to me that leader equals mire. Very glaringly so. Um, okay. Um, so yeah, we were going to look at the title Prime Minister. I mean, think just about every great leader in history went through some, like, Abraham Lincoln. Like, there, there are so many trials, like, for great leaders incredible like they had to deal with incredible onslaught of hatred and disapproval from people like that's that's the toughest mire to to trod through is stubborn people moses lived like it's, it's challenging to be a leader man like the, the toughest mire that a, that a leader goes through is the stubbornness of people wow prime minister is loaded with leader the most satisfying thing is that the word prime ends in leader and then minister begins with leader in four letters apiece. And there it is again. So there's, on the end of the word prime is the word mire, <laughs> which equals leader. It's like before you become the prime minister, you're probably going to have to go through the mire. <laughs> like if you're going to be a good prime minister, like you're going to have to, you know, suffer like the common person before you actually realize, you know, anyways. There's a lot to preach there, but let's stick with it. So, Prime Minister. That's pretty glaring. Um, so, what's left over? Prime Minister is loaded with leader. <sighs> 39 plus. P -S -T -E -R. We found leader in the word father. Mathematically, we did not find it in the word mother. I just searched for that. But you can find leader in the word father. And truth be told, um, the father is the leader of the household. There can only be one leader. Like, all of this madness that we have today, 
Oh, I want to be the leader. Oh, I want to tell people what to do. Oh, I want to be in charge. How is anything going to get done efficiently if, if one person isn't the leader and everyone submits? It, it is so maddening what we have today. Everyone wants to be the leader. Everyone wants to tell everyone else what to do. You're just like, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. Um, the word parents. An apostle is a leader. I'm just satisfying myself here. Apostle. Yes, there is one way to find leader mathematically. Paul the Apostle. It's a huge title. There's the word the letters apostle are loaded. Love is at the dead center of an apostle. Jehovah in the book ends like if if you get to earn the title of apostle, blessed and great are you as a man on this earth. Um very high title. Um it's just it is just gorgeous, these letters mathematically. Stunning beyond all reason. Absolutely stunning. But there is one way to find leader mathematically in the word apostle. And that is the A, the E, and the S, and the T. And um, that's so cool. And then what's left over? Uh, 28 plus 15, 43. My name, Derek. Local. Um, but those letters are S-T-A-D, first letters in like steadfast. It, and and you, you all of a sudden realize that everyone is playing with the English language. And everyone thinks, oh man, like the English language is power. Like, and words are powerful. Really, literally, I believe that words are the most powerful thing you own. Like, if you learn, if you use words well and with power and with true spiritual force, uh, you will change people. Like, disturbingly, you will control situations. You will con like it is overwhelming how powerful word can be if it is spoken well. Um, and, uh, there's leader. Okay, there's leader and apostle. Uh, Jesus is also the servant. Find leader and servant. Yes, it's in there. We did that before. <laughs> the word seat. Seat equals leader. Okay. Um, Prophet. A prophet is a leader. There better be a 45 in the word prophet. Yes, there's one way. <laughs> Again, there's one way, which is so satisfying. The P, the P, the H, and the E in prophet equals leader. Jesus, the great prophet. Jesus, the great leader. Um... Uh, the priest, uh, pre office, there, again, wow, that's satisfying. See, we're getting it now. What do the word priest and the word president have in common? Well, they both contain P-I-T in order, which equals leader, which is pit, the center. The priest was at the center of religious worship, and Jesus is the great high priest. He is the leader of leaders. I can't stand it when people think of Jesus as anything less than a leader like a powerful leader. You know, we have such dumbed down Christianity, especially in Canada. Like, you know, it's it, it it's just it's a it's creepy. It's like people love to think of Jesus as like the soft helper and like the nice guy that like heals everyone, but he is the commander of everything in the universe and all the hosts of heaven. It's just like and, he, and he's the Lion of Judah, and he's coming back on a white horse, and he's coming back to save and to damn. Like, it's fierce, and it is, it is powerful. Like, so, um, Jesus, the priest, leader, um, prophet is a leader. Um, 
father is a leader. Um, explorer, that was cool. President, we, that was awesome. President, Prime Minister, it was awesome. It's amazing how Prime Minister and President both contain a PIT in order. It's that leader, PIT, PIT. Um, um, you know, it's fine to win the king. I'm just I'm curious about centrality, like king of kings and stuff like this. Um, yeah, it's in there. Um, you know, in there. King of Kings, okay. Um, the title of God is leader. Just because it was it was at the center of Jesus, so Christ. Um, what other titles of Christ would be worth finding it in? Um, I'm just going to open the letter. It would almost behoove one to find it in... Uh, Names. Yep, there it is in my name. First and last, of course. Um, just as a point of curiosity, and we know it's um, okay. Um. So we get the idea. Um, find the leader in all the famous words of history. Um, using math. Ay, ay, ay. I don't think I'll spend too much longer on this. Just a few other words like, um, oh, that's interesting, the word school. The word school starts with leader. Um, we did father. And uh, what else? Let's see. Teacher. A teacher is a leader. Ah, you can't pop off the 15, though. All right, that's pretty good for now. Uh, how about a principal? I'm just going to do a little more on this one. Yeah, there's a lot in principal for leader. All right, that's pretty awesome. Okay, but ultimately, God. To me, it was most satisfying that that what triggered this whole thing was that leader is at the center of Jesus and at the center of Jehovah, and that was irresistible to take our search further. Um, So when you ask someone, do you know Jesus, you're literally saying, do you know the leader? Do you know who the best person in the universe is to follow? His name is Jesus, and the math is accurate. Jesus owns the word leader. Curious, man, about people that preach on this stuff, like John Maxwell. Because like, God is sovereign over people's names and all this stuff. Like, It, it is a layer of... Um, of interest that a lot of people do not get into, you know, that God is sovereign over your personal name and the spelling of it and the math of it. And it all has meaning to glorify who God is and what your and who you are and what your destiny also is. Yeah, it's deep and it's a layer that's, that's like people need a tremendous amount of um, wisdom for. And the Holy Ghost needs to help everyone. Um, so let's see. Um, that's cool. Leader at the center of Jesus and Jehovah. And then we did Holy Holy Spirit and Holy Ghost. Just wrap up the party. Okay.
And I've got Trinity. And I can just over. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, TY. TY is a very famous ending that equals uh, leader. And it's the bookends. It's both the ending and the bookends of the word Trinity. So there's your 45 leader there. One leader in Trinity. The Trinity. All right, God the leader. Um, cool. All right, so maybe we'll back it up after. Um, man, what was the moment that we got? Oh yeah, it's because we were. Um, we. Uh, yeah, we we had that revelation that leader at the center of Jesus was just stunning, letter for letter. And then we started finding leader, we were looking at 45, we started finding leader in all the principal titles of God, like Christ, equals life leader. And then we had the revelation on tip and pit of the center, spirit, we found um, leader in, the Holy Spirit is the leader. And then we, we went into other uh, words related to leadership and stuff. I'm curious now. Now the, the, the root, the word lead, of course, um, equals 22. I should mark that down. Um, it's all patience, man. I mean, one of the first things... Yeah, I have that. Um, so, what were we going to do? Leader, patience. Oh, yeah. Height, you know. Uh, God ordains people to be tall. Yeah, there's leader in the word height. Um, in fact, the word tall is very similar to the word leader mathematically. Where you have a one, a two, and a three, and the threes divide by sixes. The word tall is, in fact, um, 24 plus uh, 21. Oh, the word tall equals leader. That's a revelation from the Lord, okay? Because I've had a prophecy over my life where someone said, it was uh, Gary Best and his wife, and uh, the woman said, um, God has made me tall for a reason. And she said, you're going to be a leader. And that has been the case through much of history, okay? God has ordained tall people. God is even sovereign over marriages most of the time. Not always, but most of the time, the man is taller than the woman because it's God's way of saying he is the leader. He is the leader in the relationship. Okay, So this is a, a personal gem for myself because I am almost six foot six. If you measured me in the morning, I might be six foot six, otherwise six foot five and three quarter. But on a personal note, I have had a prophecy declared over my life that God has made me tall for a reason, that I am going to be a leader, and that I am a leader. So tall equals leader. Tall equals leader. Like, there's some people that, it, it's just obvious, you, <laughs> I mean, you just, you're just like, that, that person is not ordained to be the President of the United States. Like, because they're short. And they're just too short. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and they know it too. That's not their calling. That's just not their place in God's glorious picture. It's like tall equals leader. Like father is the leader. Jesus is the follower. Jesus said, I do nothing except what my father does. Like, but the fact that tall equals leader is I just, this is wisdom. This is truth. This is like people understanding who God is and who other people are. It's like, yes, all people are created equal in value, but not equal in giftings and not equal in, you know, levels of responsibility or intelligence or the amount to which they will be in charge of and all that stuff. We know that. Um, but, like, 
once you understand God's sovereignty and you have the Holy Spirit heal first yourself so that you're happy and then you can see people properly and like, oh, like you, you see who they are in God's glory and in God's masterpiece. And you just get healed of everything. Sovereignty of God heals your mind of everything. You're just like, okay, uh, so tall. So tall equals leader. And um, I, there, there is a reason I have not felt comfortable at like just practically every company I've ever worked at. It's because there was no good leader there. Like it was just trash. It was like a joke compared to Jesus Christ. Um, so tall equals leader. Um, and then I found um, the word leader in height, and there's one way to find it, H-I-H-T. And it parallels height perfectly. It's pop off 12 points. So leaders are typically tall, and they have good height. You know, the, the, the wicked spirit of our modern age is that um, we do not want to follow anyone. We do not want to admit that there is someone um, over us, that there is someone who is worthy of our obedience. And, um, yeah. Okay, so that's cool. Tall equals leader. And... Um, Anything else on leadership? Growth. Uh, okay, that's pretty good. That's epic. Oh yeah. Let's find leader in great I am, which is the same letters as Gematria. Yep. Many ways to do it. Um. Yeah, symmetrical ways in Gematria. And then you get twenty one plus. Okay. Leader. The leader. We're following the leader, the leader, the leader. We're following the leader wherever he may go. What's amazing is that um, God lives inside of you by the Holy Ghost. And so your leader is within. That's the amazing thing um, about being a Christian. Your truest leader lives inside of you. That's It's all three of them. Father lives inside of you, Jesus lives inside of you, and the Holy Spirit lives inside of you. And then you live inside of you. There's four unique spirit identities inside your physical body okay but god is the leader and uh, he's sovereign over your feelings and so when you as a believer in christ as a christian who has the holy spirit you follow your instincts you follow that which is within which is god god is inside you the holy spirit is within you and he is sovereign over your feelings and your instincts and um, you are responsible to follow the spirit within and it's pleasurable and it's always correct um, alright that's an awesome feast this morning we're going to take a break